a football brawl during a New Jersey high school championship game, but it's not the students throwing punches, it's the parents. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. Parents were caught on video brawling in the stands during a New Jersey high school football game. CBS 2's Meg Baker has a story from Brick Township. No one would have expected a high school football game to end like this. Brick Memorial and Jackson Memorial's championship game ending in parents pushing and shoving while the last seconds ticked away on their kids' season. Today in Brick, it was the talk of the town. People are unhappy that um, some of the spectators got out of hand. There was about a minute of play left on the field, but those I spoke to said the real action was going on in the stands. And suddenly, some chaos started to break out, like in the middle of the student section. I looked over, and it was just like a huge brawl. And that's when Ryan January thought to get his phone out. His video now has more than 1,500 views and hundreds of comments. A lot of adults involved, which was surprised me. You know, I've seen kids fight at uh, games before, but there were like a lot of adults involved, you know, parents. People in town. Feel the same way. I mean, it's a football game. I understand you're getting worked up, but it's, it's football. Yeah. And it's a kids' game. Very poor, poor example for, for your children. Very embarrassing. Superintendent of Brick Township Schools, Dr. Caldez, says he ran over to the fight and, since investigating the situation, found that a parent threw a megaphone into the student section, prompting the mayhem. He says he was proud of the way students reacted. A lesson sometimes the adults aren't always, you know, the ones that behave uh, correctly. Um, in this situation, our students stood out. In this championship game played in Rutgers University Stadium, the Brick Memorial Mustangs lost to Jackson Memorial. 42 to 14. But it was some of the Brick parents who lost more their dignity. In Brick Township, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.